Hey guys, sorry about the lighting and whatnot, but today's video is going to be a reaction video and kind of a ranting video. I watched a channel called The Ingham Family and I'm part of the iFam, I'm subscribed, I'm, you know, all that. And I have discovered a channel who mainly rants about YouTube, YouTubers and basically most of them are about the Ingham family. Um, there's about maybe 85% 85, 85 of them are about the Ingram family. Now today's video, I thought, because I was watching a few of their videos, I thought I would watch one of their videos on camera. So the uh, video we are going to be watching is the nursery that never was. Um, so basically this was posted three days ago. And let's watch it I guess first started so all the walls are going to be this light grey hopefully light grey and then this big back wall here I'm doing something pretty special on so my envisionment in my head I'm going straight down here diagonal line and this whole triangle is going to be really dark grey and then a triangle from the roof here this part is going to be the grey that's on the wall and then the triangle here is going to be white with some really cute stickers on that I've bought I'll have to show you them a bit later but we need to get the masking tape up so I can start painting that and I cannot get up there and masking tape it I'm not straight anyway so you ready to help me do that yeah. these girls are doing a grand job helping you okay Isabel I have actually just painted this whole section here but Isabel said you don't need to be standing on chairs mum I'll do the high bit so she's volunteered to do that even though I'm sure so it starts with their family um, preparing for Jace's room decorating his room and you know make it, making it ready for when Jace is born Oh, guys, you won't believe what's happened to Jace's bedroom. Oh, guys. What have we done? This is such a beautiful bedroom. Then. It was such a beautiful room at one point. <laughs> Now look at it. <laughs> to be fair, the table from the living room is there. That's also the bottom part, which is propping up these two boxes here. These two boxes are just, I don't even know. We've got a cot full of suitcases. The Ingle family posted a video with a clip with Sarah showing Jace's untidy nursery. And, this, and you never guess what this person said. So your beautiful and very expensive cart has become a dumping ground for all your rubbish. Now let me just say, the Ingham family are moving soon, just after the lockdown. And when you are moving, or planning to move, and you're moving things around for the move, you know that things get pretty messy. Especially um, that, you, you know, they could have used a garage, but they didn't. They used Jace's room because he wasn't using that. Toys that he didn't play with anymore. A travel clock seriously, Sarah, costing twenty-seven ninety-nine. Has he? Ha, he has a comfortable cart worth in three hundred and twenty-nine ninety-nine. Now, I just want to say this: that when I was younger, so when I was about Jace's age and maybe a bit older, I never slept in my bed. Never. I rather. When I was little, I'd rather sleep with my parents, right? And some kids are like that. Some kids won't go down without a fight going into their bedroom. And that was me. Except I wouldn't pull off a fight. I would just not sleep in there and I would just crawl into my parents' bed. You know, it is, absol it is absolutely normal for kids to want to sleep with their parents. Especially when they're about Jace's age. And it just makes it easier 
for Chris, Sarah and the girls to sleep if Jace is sat or sleeping in their bedroom. Sure it's all clean. I took on the stupid task of emptying these wardrobes <laughs> because they were just so full from like when he was a tiny baby of loads of clothes. So I just want to say in this clip that I didn't actually film, um, but basically um, the YouTuber was commenting about how the fact that Sarah got rid of most of the clothes that the iFam brought them as a gift. And I just want to say that if Jace has grown out of it or isn't using it, then what's the point of keeping something that's not being used? This wasn't in the video, but I thought I'll mention it anyway. So the <coughs> Baby J doll last year, when it came out, had a lot of, let's just say, arguments saying that Sarah and Chris were selling their baby boy. And I just want to say that the Ingham family did actually post a video just after this went viral on their YouTube channel. Um, and basically Baby Jace, the doll, is a flipping doll, right? He is made out of a material, not Jace, and he's got a cloth body, again, not Jace. And then you have, like, singers like Little Mix, who have their own range of dolls, Spice Girls, again, who are the replica of the singer, right? Every member of the band, you can, you, you can have, you know, just dolls that represent celebrities and whatever not. This is the same thing as that. So, this isn't the Ingram family selling their baby doll. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!